Hey there, today I'll be showing you how to draw Knuckles the Echidna from Sonic the Hedgehog. So we're going to start at the top of the head, we're going to be drawing the character facing in that direction there. So we start with the eye on the right. So starting at the front of the brow, we're going to curve down, like so. From here we're going to reverse the curve and go above the eyelid. So coming up, and then over to the right side. From this side, I'm just going to draw a little bit of the hair strand that comes down and covers the face. So it doesn't have to be the exact size, but it's pretty long. So from up here, I'm just going to curve down, and I'm just going to draw about that length, and I'll go ahead and finish that off after I've drawn the rest of the face in. From here, I'm going to draw the top bridge of the nose. So from the front to the back, so this being the center, I'm going to draw a curve from here to here, about equal length. Just touching that line and crossing over. From here, let's draw on the cheek. So he's got a high cheek, so I'm going to do a slight overlap here, and curve up, and tuck this in underneath this line. From here, let's draw in the eye. So from here, I'm going to draw a long sort of oval shape, starting up here, curving up to the top, and then tucking this underneath the cheek. At the top corner here, I'm going to draw a smaller oval for the highlight. We'll go ahead and color this area in black. From here, now I can tuck in the left side eye, the brow area. So from up here, I'm just going to curve down and then just reverse the curve going inwards. From here, I'm just going to do a little curve that tucks in underneath the right side brow. So there's a little gap in the center there. Over here, I'm going to do an overlap and draw in the eyeball on the left side. So up here, I'm just going to draw a little curve like this. And then inside here, I'm just going to draw a curve. And then I'm going to draw a little curve underneath for the highlight and color that inner area in black. Now that we have that in place, I'm going to draw in the nose. So here, I'm going to draw a little oval that goes horizontal. So from this tip, and curve out to the left, back, and then back around. From here, I'm going to draw a little highlight at the top. So another smaller oval, like that. And I'll color in the area in black. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm going to curve the bottom of the chin. And the chin is quite small. So I'm just going to see if I can draw this area about the same height, or maybe a little bit longer than the eye area here. So from the front of the nose, I'm going to curve underneath this hair strand. So from here, I'm just going to curve back and tuck this in like that. Inside here, I'm going to draw on the mouth, so I'm going to give him a little grin. So I'm going to draw a curve from right here up towards that cheek. Goes up like that. I'm going to connect those two points with a longer sort of curve. It comes down towards the right and it curves back up to the top. Let's draw on some teeth. So I'm just going to give him some jagged teeth. So from here, I'm just going to draw a little zigzag like that. From here, let's go ahead and draw in the rest of the head. So just on the left side of this eyeball, I'm going to draw an overlapping curve for the brow area, just like we have here. So I'm just going to curve around, like this, around that little point there. Now the head kind of swoops back to the top of the, the head point, and then the hair sort of falls from there. So from here, I'm just going to curve up. I'm just going to eyeball right about there. I'm just going to aim a curve going up to that point there. Now that I have that, I'm going to go ahead and finish off this one strand that overlaps on top of the body. So I want to draw this curve pretty low, so right about here. So I'm just going to continue this curve down to the bottom, and I curve up so that it gets thicker as it gets to the top. So up here, I'm just going to pull the line towards me, and connect with the bottom like that. Okay, so now that we have that, actually I'm going to draw a little curve for the eyebrow line. So up here, I'm just going to draw a curve like that. Okay, so now that I have that in place, now I can start overlapping and under the arm in underneath. So right about here, I'm going to draw the shoulder. So the body's going to come up this way. The shoulder is here. So I want to draw the back side of the arm that goes underneath this hair strand. So starting here, I'm going to draw a curve in behind this hair strand. And then right here, I'm going to continue it down to about there. I'm going to draw the under part of the arm. So making the thickness of the arm right here, curving down, same curve, coming down behind that hair strand right about there. Now I'm going to draw in the hand. I'm going to overlap these two lines with a curve. For the cuff of the fist, from here I'm going to draw an angle line coming down towards the left and then towards the right. So two short lines. I'm going to connect that with a curve. Like that. Let's get into the hand. So this hand is going to be in a fist. So I want to draw this thumb area in first on this side. So what I'm going to do is from here, curve out and then curve it back in. Okay, so it's a little curve like that. On this end, I'm just going to finish this off with a little bracket, a little curve like that. That's this part of the hand here. So from here we're going to draw the big hand that's about this big. So I'm going to do an overlap. So coming in here and I'm going to wrap around this little bracket. 
just like that. Now from here, I'm gonna do an overlap and curve all the way around to that side of the wrist. But along the way, I'm gonna do an interruption and draw in the spike. So from here, I'm just gonna curve in like this. From this point, I'm just gonna draw a half circle. This is for the socket for the spike. From these two points, I'm gonna to converge towards the center point. So I'm gonna draw a little point there. From this line, I'm gonna go into that point. And from here, I'm gonna go into that point, creating a little spike. From here, from the wrist, I'm gonna curve into that point of that socket. So rounding out like that. Let's go ahead and draw another spike here. So this one, I'm gonna draw in a slightly different angle. So coming down this way. So here, I'm gonna draw a half circle like that. And then I'm gonna converge these two points to a little point in the middle. Go ahead and just draw two straight lines going right to that point, like that. Okay, so we got the arm. Let's get into the body. So again, like I'm gonna have the body, the chest pumped out, coming down towards the waistline. So the waist I'm gonna draw to here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the chest area first. So underneath this chin, I'm gonna curve and round out like that. From here, I'm gonna draw the back. So the back goes in the opposite direction, curving in towards the waist, and then just flattening out, coming downwards. Let's go ahead and draw in that little detail on the chest. So from the front edge here, I'm gonna draw a swooping curve that goes up like that. I'm gonna go over to the side here again and just curve down even lower and then meet up with that point. So coming down low and then coming back up high. Now that we have that, let's go back to the hair and just sort of block out the rest of the hair. So from this point, we're gonna curve down to the short strand on the back and there's four strands on the side of the head. So from here, I wanna go pretty wide, leaving enough room for the hairs in between. So from here, I'm just gonna curve down, just kind of let it fall off like that. Now let's layer in the hairs in behind. So I got one strand here, I'm gonna do two, three, and four. So I need to make room for two lines that come out from inside between these two lines. So one here and one here. So from this side, I'm gonna start at the same height, I'm gonna curve down, and then go in behind the hand. Let's do that again. So in between these two lines, I'm gonna find the center point, and then curve down in behind the hand. This one's the shortest uh, hair strand coming down. So from this point, I'm just gonna curve back up and tuck this in underneath this strand here. From this point, like I have here, it kind of gets thinner as it gets to the tip. This strand here, I wanna make it look like it's getting thinner as well. So I'm gonna start right about here and just kind of go down, almost straight down, and just make it look like it's getting thinner as it gets towards the tip. Over here, down below, I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm making it look like it's getting thinner as it gets down below there. Okay, so we got the hair. Let's finish off the legs. So we're gonna draw these legs coming in the opposite direction. So the chest is pumped out this way. We need to counterbalance the weight so that the body kind of, the lower part of the body goes this way. So the feet will be down this direction. So we're gonna draw the legs down here. So the cuff of the boot will come to about here. So this line, I'm gonna draw a straight angled line coming down towards the cuff of the boot on the left. And this side, I'm gonna go out a little bit wider just to give myself enough room for the legs. Okay, so it gets a little bit wider. Let's start with the leg on the right. Here, I'm gonna draw the bottom edge of the foot. Just drawing a little curve like that. From this point, I'm gonna curve up and in towards the left side of the hip. So from here, I'm gonna start up wide and then kind of come in a little bit narrower as I get towards the bottom of the foot. On this side, we'll do the same thing. I'm gonna draw a curve for the bottom of the leg. And then from up here, I'm just gonna curve right into that point there. Let's draw in the right foot because the right foot overlaps on top of the left. So around this curve on the base, I'm just gonna draw an oval tucked in underneath. So starting up here, and draw a curve going around, then back again. So it looks like the foot or the leg is stuck inside the shoe. From this point here on the edge, I'm gonna draw an angled line coming down. On the right, will come down as well. Connect those two points with a curve that goes down. Now let's draw in the shoe. From this point, I'm gonna curve down towards the bottom of the foot, and the foot is quite big. So from here, I'm gonna curve down towards the left. From here, I'm just gonna curve up towards the right. I wanna make this quite big. So curving up like this, so curling around. And then from here, I'm just gonna flatten out and then curve up to that point on the right side. From here, let's draw in another stroke along the bottom, a little curve for the bottom sole of the shoe, and just kind of fades off into the right there. Let's draw in the top lace area. So this is basically like a rectangle that comes in an angle this way. So from here, I'm gonna draw an angled line. And on this side, I'm gonna draw that same angled line going out. So you can see that this line is lower than this line here. I'm gonna draw a curve to connect those two points. 
Inside here, there's six little circles. Almost looks like Lego. So here, I'm just going to draw a little oval. On the top, I'll draw an oval. And then in between, I'll draw an oval. And just so that I can space this out evenly. Starting on the bottom, going to the top, and then finding that center point, and then drawing another one in the middle there. Let's draw some stripes on the shoes. So right here, I'm going to curve up in behind that rectangle, and then we're going to come out on the right side. We're going to do the same thing again on the top here. So going right up to the top, and come down towards the bottom on the right. Okay, so we got that shoe. Let's do the one on the right side. So we're going to do essentially the same thing, but I'm going to draw the foot pointing in that direction that way. So again, we're going to start above that point on the ankle, curve around an oval, and in behind this foot. We'll finish that off on the top there. On the side here, on the further side, on the left, we're going to come straight down, and we're going to curve this behind that boot on the right. Let's go ahead and draw on the top of the shoe. So we want to sort of balance this out, making the shoe on the left similar size of the one on the right. So from this point, we're going to curve towards the front of the shoe, which will be right about here. So curving around like this. And then we're going to curve the bottom of the foot in behind the right shoe. We're going to draw the sole. So we want to make sure that this line is about the same thickness as we have on the right. So curving around like that. We're going to draw the top laces. So from this point, I'm just going to curve because the, set, the foot is actually rounded here. I'm going to curve around like that. And then from this point, I'm just going to curve to the side of the foot. We're going to draw just one set of circles, these lace circles. So here we're going to draw an oval. On the end, we'll draw an oval. And then right in between, we'll draw another oval. Over here, let's draw the racing stripe. So up here, we curve down to the sole. Up here, we'll curve down in behind that foot there. Let's go ahead and draw the arm on the left side. So this one, you're not going to see the top part of the arm. You're just going to see mostly wrist and the, the fist area. So here, I want to make sure that the arms are lined up almost the same height. So on this side, I'm just going to come up with an angled line. We'll do a short one here. Just the same thickness of arm as we have on the left. We're going to overlap these two lines with a curve. From these two lines, we're going to angle out two lines. We'll connect those two points with a curve. Now we want to get the same almost volume of shape of the, the fist on the left as we have on the right. So this is going to be quite big. So starting up here, this hand is going to be actually turned this way. So from here, we're going to curve to this part of the thumb. From here, we're going to curve the side of the hand. Now the thumb is going to be tucked in on top of this big mass area here. So from this point, I'm going to curve in. Now let's go ahead and draw on that thumb. So here, just simply, we're going to start in this area right here. We're just going to curve and loop around like this. We're going to step in a little bit and just draw a curve towards the wrist, leaving a little gap there. We're going to go back up here and we draw the curve for this part of the hand here, tucking in underneath the thumb. So step up a little bit, curving around, and then tucking that in underneath that thumb. If you want, you can imagine this curve going across this way and just poking up on the left side there. Go back up here, we're gonna curve the hand part here, the outer part of the wrist, curving in right into that wrist area. And we just wanna tuck in some knuckles or the, the spikes underneath the hand. So right up here, I'm gonna to go to a point with a straight line and then back. This one we're gonna angle down this way. Go down this way and back up. Now the final part, we're going to draw in the tail that comes out behind the hand and up on the side. Starting up here, right in the midsection, we're going to curve in behind the hand. Imagine this curve coming up this way. We'll continue that up like that. We do a hard break in the opposite direction to the point of the tail. Now from here, we're going to go a little bit wider. We're going to taper out so it gets wider as it gets to that point there. And we're going to continue tapering out in the opposite direction, coming around this way. And then we'll start out wide and go in a little bit narrower. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Knuckles the Echidna from Sonic the Hedgehog. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please give us a like and share this with your friends. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.